Hey, so we're here at Google at San Francisco and we are checking out Daydream View. So Daydream is Google's new VR platform that's going to encompass a bunch of different phones and headsets. And Daydream View is the first one of those headsets. Hey. It's supposed to feel like a piece of clothing and it's designed to fit any Daydream phone, except that right now there are only two Daydream ready phones, the Pixel and the Pixel XL, which were also announced today. So we're going to go take a look at what it actually feels like to use it. So Daydream View is foam and fabric, and it's kind of squishy. Over on this side, you have your face mask, which you can actually take out and hand wash. And then right in the middle, there's this plastic shell, which is sort of where the VR magic happens. In order to use it, you pull off this little loop and open it up. And you can see that you've got your controller held in here by elastic. Uh, you pull it out, hold it, and then this is where you put the phone. So you set your phone in, and you'll notice there are two little plastic nubs here. And these actually will tell your phone, OK, where is the center of the screen? So instead of having to get it in at just the right angle, you just put your phone in, snap it shut, and it'll know exactly how to align the image. So for different widths of phone, you can also pull these hinges out a little bit. That means you can either use a bigger Daydream phone, or you can use a case without having to take it off before you put your phone in VR. When you're done, this just slides right back in, and you can fold it back up. So in order to put it on, it's a lot like other VR headsets. Uh, you stretch this, put it right here, uh, and then you tighten these straps a little bit. So Google says there are going to be 50 Daydream apps by the end of the year, with quote, hundreds more coming. And that includes some things that Google is making itself, like a VR version of YouTube or Street View. It includes some things we've already heard about, like HBO and Netflix apps, uh, New York Times journalism apps, as well as some games and a neat little tie-in for the film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, where you become a wizard and use the controller like a wand. So Daydream View is going to be launching in early November, although we don't know the exact day. And pre-orders are opening October 20th. Um, that's a little bit longer than you'll be waiting for the Pixel phones, but it's still closer than it could be. You'll start seeing other Daydream headsets and phones coming later this year in early 2017. So if you want to check out more about Google or anything else we cover, you can go to youtube.com slash The Verge.